Welcome to Fortnite Friday, where today we're going to be looking at Bash Solo Mode. I got it for $2.99 at my Ross. I actually love, I love this $2.99 price range. I hope that we get more of them. I've been getting any of the doubles. Um, I got two of him. I got two of another one. It's not on the back right here, but if I find an extra one, I grab it because it's like these make great fashion figures. Fashion figures. <laughs> what am I saying? Figures for other heads, maybe. Like I could put, what is that? The Chronicles of Narnia head or Peter Parker's head, or you know, I got other heads too. I'm just saying I got swapping abilities and all kinds of possibilities are out there. They're limitless. So for Bash, when a good llamas go bad, or good la llamas go bad, is his uh, subtitle or sub slogan. All right, this is a an amazing articulated figure by Jazzwares. The figure itself is, uh, oh wow, up to the top of his little unicorn horn. It's four and a half inches tall, which is slightly taller than most of them. That means in centimeters for the rest of the world, he is about 11 centimeters tall. He comes with this weapon that is uh, suited just for him. It looks like a ride on hobby horse uh, that has been through hell and back pretty much. Uh, those little crossed out eyes look like he has been through, he's seen them too much. And uh, in the scale, these are the other figures made by Jazzwares that are very similar and almost in the same scale with them. So that means that hopefully, and this is one of the things I wanted to check is I got so many of these now that I'm like, yes, I can start using these. They fit perfectly for this figure as well. So who would have thought that the same company would make the same skies hole on the bottom of the feet, but that's actually a great idea. So for his weapon, uh, we can get this weapon into his hand. I'm a pony, I'm a pony. I, all I could do, I'm looking at him, is thinking about, I'm a pony, I'm a pony from um, the, uh, oh, what was it called? The Nutty Professor with uh, Eddie Murphy. Funny, funny movie. So his head is on a ball joint that, uh, for the top part that allows him to swivel. His neck is on an up and down joint. It lets him look down this much, up this much. All right. His arm can go up this high and can also go around 360 degrees. He has a single point of articulation at the elbow, but that's all you need. It also can go around like this. He can go about not even quite 90 degrees because of his outfit, I guess, but he can go back farther than any man should. So maybe I got him on backwards. Nope, it's just, that's just the nature of the beast. So he can go up this far, which is close to 90 degrees and too far back. I saw one of my friends named David, when we were kids, he jumped off the back of the truck and his arm went backwards 90 degrees. And I was like, how did your arm do that? And it puffed up. He's like, I don't feel my arm. Ah. Yeah, anyway, he had broken his arm just jumping off the truck. His wrist goes in and out and of course swivels around He's got a ball joint up here. It's kind of feels loose, but he's not jiggling. So that's good. He's got also articulation at his waist. So that's something that the, these guys don't seem to have. Not that I've detected at least. All right, for his uh, leg joints, he can do a split this far and it is on a ball joint underneath, which allows him to, let's see if he can sit down all the way. Yeah, you could bring all the way up to let him sit down. He's got a thigh swivel, which is great for riding motorcycles. And uh, he can bend at the knees as a double joint, so he can squat. At his ankles, he's got forward, like he can kick somebody in the teeth with that heel, or he can tiptoe through the tulips. And then it's on an ankle rocker, so he can pose himself in a way that makes him stand much more easily without even having to stand. The stands are fantastic if you want to put them up and put them on the shelf and Hope they can survive an earthquake, which we don't have here at the beach. Um, I'm on the East Coast, by the way, but I'm not, you know, the way things are going, I mean, they had, in South Carolina, they had 100 earthquakes last year, which has never happened in the history of South Carolina ever. Um, so, you know, we're at the end of days, we're at the final days before Jesus comes back. It's gonna be happening. So I want my action figures to stay nice and pristine on the shelf. I go flying through the sky in the rapture. And, uh, you know, so the next person can enjoy these, whoever basically, breaks into my house after I'm gone and takes everything. I'm sure they're going to care about action figures at that point. They'll probably be starving to death. So anyway, I'm just comparing him to a regular three and three quarters figures. Uh, I think he works fine in this universe. You just got to remember these guys are uh, a little bit hopped up on steroids. So they're a little bit bigger than your GI Joe figures. Um, I don't know. That's just the way they are. It's just the way I was born. I was born big and tall. 
All right, that face is just creepy as mess. Look at this. There's like several colors here. They're good colors though. I mean, I like the color combination, but man, that's a lot of colors. He's got like the little rainbow right there, which is so cute. It's a rainbow. It actually bows like a rainbow does. He's also got the, um, looks like the Top Gun slogan on his shoulder. He's got some interesting hexagonal um, pattern on his uh, torso and legs and on his calves. And on here, he's got laced up boots that go all the way up. On this hand over here, we got some ribbed gloves that, you know, keep him uh, protected from hitting objects hitting him right here. On his back, he's got a hole. Let's see, what would I put in the hole? I don't see anything to put in the hole. Uh, maybe one of these guns from the Halo figures. There we go. That's a great idea. Yeah, so the Halo figures have uh, the holes on the back. This weapon does not have any way of being stored on his back, so that's why I grabbed one of the Halo things. Here we go. There's another Halo one. It's a little loose because that peg hole is bigger than that, that hole right there, than the stud that goes into it. So, yeah, I, I just know that I definitely would be picking up any of these I ever find because I absolutely am in love with Halo. Not Halo. I was about to say Halo. These uh, figures are so crazy. They're so wild. They're so outrageous. Some are serious. Some are wild. Like, this one's more of the wild side. Like, you know, I, I don't think I would rarely really want to wear one of these outfits. I mean, I feel like somebody want to beat me like a pinata. But evidently, he's like, bring it on, boys. Bring it on. And it's like it's a chainsaw, too. So I wonder if it's like in the game, it's supposed to be some kind of chainsaw thing. It's got that metal look to it. Very well painted. I mean, it even looks like he's got a chainsaw pinata for a hobby horse weapon. All right. So if this is one of your characters in, uh, what is the game called? Fortnite. Let me know and uh, bash that like button. And I will see you guys uh, later. Have a great, fun Friday. And remember, get you some French fries. Wee oui, wee. Oui.